Howdy. So this is something I've been wanting to do for a bit. Um, I kind of started, but then didn't keep it going primarily because that is a rough. You know what? Let's do some, let's get some better lighting in here. Whoa. There we go. That's, that's better. I think we're good. Solid. So yeah, I've been very busy lately. I recently just got picked up for a composition job. So that's pretty neat. Composing a feature length movie as well. It's called Gone with the Dead. Can't say a lot about it yet, but um, it's gonna be a really good movie. I'm also the editor um, for that film, partial editor. I got my IMDb up and running um, as of a little while ago. Image of that here. It's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's strange to have an IMDb, you know, after being on it all the time, looking at your favorite celebrities and seeing what new movies are coming out, you know. It's weird to see your name on there and your face, you know. Um, it's almost like a dream come true a little bit. Uh, another cool thing that just happened is the company got in touch with me. They're a uh, musical company. And so they're actually reaching out to have me compose the music for their musical uh, and revise one of their other musicals. So they're like a legitimate company. Uh, again, I don't know if I can mention their name either um, yet because the contract isn't written yet, but I'm gonna be composing a musical. I guess people are starting to get wind of the fact that I can compose and that I've done numerous compositions. Obviously they're copyrighted by my company, so don't use them or I will sue you. It's not a warning, it's a threat. <laughs> it's supposed to be the other way, but that, that's, that's funnier. <laughs> it's a threat. Um, here's my cute kitty mug. It's very beautiful. I think this one's a tiger, so it really covers all bases of cats. This one's a Maine Coon. I have a Maine Coon. They're really cute, very fluffy. It says cat person on it. Um, I'm not a cat person. Actually, I guess I kind of am. I used to be a dog person, just because in theory dogs sound better, right? Like, man's best friend, loyal protector, but I don't know, recently I've been kind of getting into I like cats, they're cute little fuzzballs. Sometimes I'm convinced that they only use me for food, though. Such gold diggers. They would probably sell me out for, like, fish. Currently reading Les Miserables, which is the actual pronunciation. It ain't Les Miserables. 96 pages in. And we have just gotten introduced to the main character like three chapters ago. So, pretty challenging read, I'd say. Uh, if you like stories with a bunch of lore building and things like that, um, this one's the one for you. I also like how hollow it sounds. Like that. It sounded very innuendo-y and sexual. I promise that's not how I intended it. Or is it? Always second guess people's intentions. It's actually the first book I've read in, I think, like three years. I fell out of it, but I'm actually um, a writer, a novel writer. And I figured, you know, I'm so in love with telling stories and the art of storytelling. I should read other people's stories. I think it's only fair. It's like trying to conquer geometry, never having read a geometry book. You could teach yourself it, sure, um, through graphs and pictures, but um, you'll never have the hands-on tactile experience, the emotional connection that a mathematician would have to the subject matter, having read it and studied it for years, the technical way, the right way. My novel, uh, Marked, is at, I believe, 147 pages, which is crazy, because uh, my goal page count is 250. It's about a young boy um, who develops a rash on his arm, and he's not really sure what that's about. We take a break from that revelation and focus on his home life, his friends, his family, and the ensuing drama within his community, particularly between him and his mother and a third party. And when we get back to the rash, disastrous circumstances await our protagonist in the form of a lurking entity that feeds off of grief and loss. That's all I'll say. Working on my acting reel right now. I had one, but it just wasn't very complete. It was a lot of old stuff that I did. I'm essentially building up. My older, crappier acting reel got me semi-professional productions, but then the semi-professional productions in an acting reel were theoretically giving me more professional productions, um, and those professional productions will eventually get me to the uh, the high levels. Working up, training up, whatever, however you want to call it. I'm getting back into working out every day. Part of my job as an actor is to maintain my health, right? Um, because your resume photo is the first thing people see, um, and you want to look attractive um, and you're in your best self. So yeah, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of noticeable results. Um, ooh, look at that tricep. Ooh, that's really narcissistic. I'm not putting that in. <laughs> well, to a great start. I got my Star Wars bed sheets because I'm 
an adult. <laughs> you know what? Adulting is tough and challenging. And sometimes you just want to come home to, you know, your childhood in a bed. I just want to wrap up in the blankets and snuggle literally with my warm memories. What's a, what's a more peaceful slumber than, than Yoda pressed into your back? <laughs> Whisper, whispering sweet nothings into your ear. <laughs> Close we are. <laughs> a candy bar, I hope that is. <laughs> I'm 12. I'm really happy. My cast and crew uh, on Alvi are asking if we are shooting tomorrow, filming tomorrow. We absolutely are. The life of being a director. Shooting is tomorrow at 4.36. We're shooting um, Jacqueline Schneider's final scene as Lindsay. She's very dedicated to the project. Here she is. Keep an eye out. She's coming. She's coming for everything. She's coming for all the roles. Please follow my second channel. That is gonna be Phoenix Fire Productions. I just put it up the other day. Um, that is gonna be housing all of my projects, um, whether that's a musical project, because I, I do write and compose musicals, uh, as well as a film project, um, something I'm writing. Uh, updates, alerts, trailers, teasers, for uh, all the works I got coming soon, uh, including my novel project. Um, but be sure to post a teaser on there as well. Things are going great. They really are. That's about it. That's all you beautiful people.